This is tutorial 1, question 6. Here we are given a matrix A which is 4 by 4 and then we are asked to perform Gaussian elimination and we are asked how many rows contain pivots. After that we are then asked is is there any solution for, of B in A? That means can we always find X that solves for any B. Such a question basically is asking you to see if A has, in this example, four independent columns. If A has four independent columns, then these four independent co columns can span R4. But if A does not have four independent columns, for example, it only has two or three, then it only span a subspace of R4. So let's go about doing this. To find the number of pivots, immediately we apply Gaussian elimination. We copy A into here and we begin. So each of these operations are written here. Please go through them. I will only go through the first one. We'll say the new row 2 is equals to row 1 plus row 2. The whole idea, as you remember, is to introduce 0 on the left hand side after each elementary row operation. So in the first pass, we have introduced zeros below the first pivot. We then have the next pivot, which is the second row below the first non-zero. And then we again try to get rid of the second p the values below the second pivot and make them zero which is the operations here we continue and then we have found that we can find three pivots and one full row of zero the interpretation is this we have found three pivots but there are four variables why are there four variables because what we are going to do is actually we have a x equals to b now a is a 4 by 4 matrix x must be a 4 by 1 column vector to produce a 4 by 1 there are four elements in x the unknown variable or unknown vector and each one of them, let's call it x1, x2, x3, and x4. They are the variables that we need to find. So they are the four variables. And hence, because there are only three pivots plus four variables, there is one free variable. As such, we can conclude that for the, this given x, one of the row is dependent on the other three rows. And hence, there is no unique solution because that is one free variable and therefore it doesn't cover the entire space of R4 and therefore we can also say that B that AX equals to B might not be true for any or B it will be true for some B which is linear combinations of some of the columns but it will not be for all B's now, if you are going to ask which columns of A is linearly independent, actually the pivot positions tell you column 1, column 2, and column 4 of the original matrix A are independent. Column 3 can be constructed by uh, column 1, 2, and 4, some linear combinations of it. You have to find the weights. Now, in question 6, the second part, we are now given a matrix B. Again, this is a 4 by 4 matrix. And again, we are asked the same question. So to know whether any B can be constructed by columns of B, we perform Gaussian elimination to determine the number of pivot position. Again, we determine that there are only three pivot positions and only implying, hence it implies that only three columns of the B matrix are independent. There's one column that is dependent on the other three. As such, we can conclude that there are not enough independent columns of B to span R4. To span R4, we need 
four independent columns and each column is an R4. Now if you have problem understanding this question, please go through theorem 1.2 of your slide and it says that basically given we have an A of M by N matrix, then the following statements are logically equivalent, all truths or all false. Here is the claim, if the columns of A span R, M, then it also means that A has a pivot position in every row. So in this example, we have a 4 by 4, although there are 4 rows, it only has 3 pivots. So this is not true, therefore the columns of A does not span R, M, R4. The other statement about this is, if B is in R, M, in the, our case R4, that means B is a linear combination of A. And any B in this example is then true. Finally, exactly when we say linear combinations, we can write it as AX equals to B. And then when we say x equals to b as a solution, the solution they are talking about is that we can find the unknown x such that ax will be equals to b. Right, for a good reference of uh, this linear dependence and free variable, I would suggest you to go to see this book, Georgia Tech uh, under ILA, linear independence.html. Thank you.